guys, welcome to my talk show, Raising Greatness, where I interview you guests to find out what led them down their path to success. I'm your host, Nicholas Buwama. Today's guest is a talented actor, host, and TV producer. He's produced some of your favorite reality shows, such as The Real Housewives of Atlanta, The Housewives of New York, Miami, and Dallas, and Married to Medicine, just to name a few. He's produced shows for Oprah Winfrey on the OWN Network, MTV, Lifetime, and more. Today's guest is the phenomenal Michael Beck. Hi, thanks for having me. It was no problem. Uh, well, my first question is, what exactly does a producer do? So a producer um, can do a lot of different things, and it looks a producer's job looks very different in different um, productions. Um, specifically, what I do is um, I'm in a, a showrunner, it's called, or an executive producer, um, I mainly work in unscripted TV or reality tele television, um, but I also do documentaries. I've done some scripted. I've actually even done a little bit of film. Um, but in terms of my main job in unscripted and reality television, um, an executive producer kind of oversees the project as a whole from be the beginning before we even start shooting, which is called pre-production, all the way through production when we shoot the actual show. And then in post-production, um, when we're editing the show before it goes to air. Wow, that sounds like a pretty cool job. It is cool. It's a lot of work. Um, it's long hours, but it's a lot of fun. And um, it's something that I love so much that, you know, I, I don't mind working long hours. And when I'm doing it, I feel like I'm um, lucky because I'm doing something that I love. And it doesn't even feel like a job sometimes. Wow. So why, but why did you want to become a producer? You know what? I have always had an interest in entertainment um, ever since I was a kid. Uh, sometimes I was in front of the camera, sometimes behind the camera. And um, I just always wanted to like tell stories and I love it. And so when I became a reality producer, actually, I had kind of fallen into it. I had mainly like when I, I went to film school and I wanted to work in scripted, um, and then I interned at um, a film production company. So I thought I was gonna work in film or scripted TV. But then um, I kinda, I was, I'd been in the business for so long, um, all the way, by the time I was in my early 20s, I had already been in the business since I was like 11. Um, so I wanted to explore other things. I wanted to try working in nonprofits because something else that I'm very passionate about is um, nonprofit work and helping the underserved. and. Um, so I got a job working for a nonprofit here in Los Angeles, which then eventually took me to living in New York City, where I was working for another nonprofit there. And after being working in nonprofits for a while, I realized that um, you know my passion was entertainment, um, but I can always give back. So um, I wanted to go back into the career field of entertainment. So I was at a party, a birthday party for a friend and randomly started talking to somebody who just so happened to be a producer in reality television. And we spent a majority of the night talking and I ended up going to work for him um, like two weeks later. So I left my job at nonprofits and kind of fell into reality television. Wow, that, that like, you had like a lot of processes to go through before you found out that you loved reality television. Yeah, I think, you know, I, I personally don't believe, um, and maybe some people will disagree with me, but I don't believe in, um, I think it's a little bit old school to think that you're going to choose one career path in life and that is going to be your career path for the for your the entirety of your working life um there's so many different things that i'm passionate about and that i want to do and accomplish and so um i'm okay with trying different things and trying different jobs and um, career fields and um you know ultimately i'm here now making reality television and documentaries but um who knows maybe in the future i'll be doing something else 
Wow. So you you want to do like a lot of other different things? But... There are a lot of things that I want to do. There, I have um, some goals that I've set for myself, the things that I would like to accomplish. Um, and so, yeah, I mean, I think my field is great because I can actually use it in a multitude of ways. Um, television and entertainment in general is a platform that can be used for good, for bad, to tell stories, to make people laugh, to make people cry, to educate people. Um, so I am lucky that my specific field that I'm in right now is something that um, lets me be a little bit nimble in terms of what I wanna do with my life and where I wanna go and um, the influence I wanna have on the world. Yeah, that's that's true. And wow, you're you're so amazing. Like, oh, her. thank you. You're yeah. amazing. Well, thank you. My next question is: What advice would you give, like, young people like me who want to get into the industry? Um, you know, I think just being as someone myself that started in the industry as a young person, uh, my first paid job as an actor was, I was 11 years old and I was in a, a theater production and it was my first paid gig. So I'd started in the industry pretty young. Um, I think the biggest piece of advice that I can give to young people is that, you know, you don't have to fit into one box. You can explore so many different aspects of life and in um, so many different career fields. And I really encourage people to do that. You know, if you, want to be um, in entertainment, there's ways to explore that. If you want to be a teacher, you can do that as well. If you want to travel the world, there's a way to make a career out of that. So I think, um, you know, definitely don't put yourself in one box and think that you have to, you know, um, choose one career right from high school and that's going to be what you're going to do in college and then after college and then you're going to retire. I think there's just so much opportunity in the world and why not take advantage of that's all so of it? True. That is, like, for real, very true. Yeah. So you've been an actor, a host, and a producer. So out of all of those things, what do you like doing the most? Um, I think it's, I love being a producer. I think being a producer is really cool because I'm actually kind of in control of uh, the message and the story that gets out to the world. Um, so even if, as a, somebody who's been in front of the camera and who still would love to be in front of the camera, um, I can even create my own jobs. You know, if there's a, a, a script or a show that I think would be good for me or for somebody else, I can kind of create that. And as a producer, that's our job is to create and to um, put new things out into the world. And so I would say that being a producer is probably the most fun and the most rewarding because it, it pays off the most. Oh, wow. So a producer really sounds... It really sounds like a very good job, but it seems like a lot of responsibility. It is a lot of responsibility. Um, you know, especially if you're, you know, if we work in reality television, so um, a lot of people put their story in our hands, and it's a story to tell. So um, it is a responsibility of making sure that the right message gets out in the world, making sure that people um, are seeing um, the truth, seeing what's real in life. And so um, I do, I don't take my job lightly, that's for sure. <laughs> wow. So uh, my next question is, who would you say encouraged you to get you to where you are today? Hmm, well, I, I would probably have to say my family. My family has been, always been very supportive of me and the things I want to do in life. Um, my path in life has not been very conventional. Um, I wouldn't recommend this, but I, I left high school early to start college to go to film school because I knew I wanted to, um, I just want to kind of accelerate my career path. So I wouldn't recommend that, but it was, it's just to show you that my life has been kind of unconventional. Um, but my family has always been very, very supportive from a young age. My parents really um, encouraged me to do whatever I wanted to do in terms of um, if I wanted to play sports or if I wanted to act or if I wanted to dance or um, they always kind of gave me opportunity and let me kind of explore what makes me happy. Well, well, my parents did the same thing. Well, they're still doing the same thing, but still. <laughs> That's great. That's good. It's good to have parents like that. Mm -hmm. My next question is, you produce many reality shows. Are those your favorite type of shows to work on or do you like love other like movies and things like that? 
Um, I think, I wouldn't say I have a favorite medium, um, but I would say that reality is really fun because you're actually telling real people's stories. You know, you're telling uh, stories of real, real life and things that people are going through, good and bad. Um, you know, when you work in scripted television or in film, you get a script and you know exactly what the beginning, middle, and end is going to be. In our business of reality, you you can start shooting something one day and never know where that story is going to end up because we it's real life and you know just like real life, things change daily. Um, as you can see in the world right now, a lot of stuff is happening that is very unexpected that we had no clue about, but it's real life. And so I really enjoy unscripted television because um, it always keeps me on my toes. It is always changing and it, um, it requires me to work really, really hard to make sure that I'm ready to adjust when the story changes. Wow. That's very interesting. My next question is, Recently, you've launched your own production company, right? So how does that make you feel to know all your hard work has really paid off? Well, um, all my hard work has definitely paid off to get me to this point where I can um, have my own production company now. Uh, I would say this is probably where even the more hard work begins because I have, you know, I have I'm a new company and I'm starting to be creative on my own. Um, I will say that I love it and I'm excited to have my own production company because as a producer, when we're freelance and we work for other production companies, we are, we are producing shows th that other people have created or other people have thought of, um, which is great. And it's, um, we're so thankful for that. Um, but also starting my own production company gives me the opportunity to tell the stories that I want to tell. Um, or to come up with new shows that are out of my own brain. Um, so I'm excited about the next chapter of, of producing for myself because um, I can tell all kinds of different stories. I have uh, varying types of shows um, that my company is starting to produce from baking shows to um, dating shows to documentaries. Um, it's there's just so much, so many different things and different stories that I can tell that are stories that I really want to tell and put out into the world. Yeah, that that is really very true. So, what are you working on now? Should we be looking out for something new or? Yeah, so I'm working on a lot of different things right now. Um, my own company, I have um, uh, about five different shows that are in a um, different varying stages of. Um, pre-production or development um, so I have some stuff coming up that I will definitely when it's ready I will announce and make you aware of um, and then I am also still producing I have a show um, that I am producing for Bravo that, that I'm about to start next week um, so I have a lot of different projects going on um, some I can't really talk about just yet but as soon as I can I will let you know for sure Okay, and make sure I'm the first person that knows, okay? I promise, I promise. <laughs> okay. Well, to wrap this up, since I love learning new words, can you leave me with your favorite word? Yeah, I would have to say my favorite word is aspiration. Um, I always aspire to do more, to tell new stories, to make change in the world, to make a difference, and I think... I hope that everything I do in terms of my work is doing that. Um, so I always, I'm always um, aspiring for more. So my word is aspiration. Well, aspiration is a really good word. Thank you. I agree. <laughs> and thank you for being a guest on my show. And to everyone else, uh, thank you for watching. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. See you next time. Bye. Bye. Thank you. <laughs> To watch episodes of Married to Medicine or your favorite housewives, you can head on over to bravotv.com. Thank you for watching this episode of Raising Greatness. And thank you to our sponsor, Irving Joe Coffee. Irving Joe Coffee is one of the first black independently owned coffee brands in the U.S. since 2010. To enjoy your coffee with a touch of soul, visit www.irvingjoe.coffee. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. See you next time.